Hi everyone, we are back with another tutorial. <clears throat> this is our second color theory worksheet, okay? Um, this worksheet is on color schemes, okay? Which is when you use certain colors together. This top one up here that you can see I'm filling in, um, <clears throat> this long strip, um, this is what's called a monochromatic color scheme. So mono meaning one or only one, and then chroma meaning color. Uh, and then um, <clears throat> on a monochromatic color scheme, you're choosing, it's just one color and you're mixing it with white and you're mixing it with black, okay? When you take a color and you mix it with white, it's called a tint. When you take a color and you mix it with black, it's called a shade. So that's why this says tints and shades. Now for um, colored pencil, we're not going to use if if I was doing painting, I would use white paint, but for colored pencil, um, we're just going to use the white of the paper. So to save time, I've already put down a base color. My pure, I know my pure color is going to go in the center. Okay. Now for the light side, I'm going to slowly fade into white, and all that involves is putting down a um, even coat. Okay, that is light. And I'm going a little lighter than I need to right here, um, just out of caution. I'm leaving this part just straight up white. And up here, I'm going about as light as I can go. So this is about as light as I can go before I hit white. So everything down here is gonna be at least that. All right, time to start getting a little darker. And a little darker. And that's looking pretty good. So let's talk about the dark side, okay? I'm not of the force. Um, <clears throat> I know that pretty much all of this is going to have some orange. This will have a lot of orange, but you can see that I'm fading out when I get down to the black. And there's already some mixing going on. Oops, went outside the line a little bit. You want to try and avoid that. I want to try and hit every area where white is showing through on the paper because that's not what we want. So now I'm going to come in with black and this is pure black. I'm going to come in with some more black here and I know that I need this to come a little farther. So I'm going to go up here and have this be the area where my black is the lightest. So just the same as I did with the white side, I'm going as light as I can go here. And if this is as light as I can go, I know that this has to be a little bit darker than that. So I'm pressing down a little harder here. So this is definitely darker than this. And that means that this has to be darker than that. So I'm going down and pressing a little bit harder. There's a big jump from here to here. I'm gonna go a little darker here. And maybe I could have brought this up a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring it up just a tiny bit more. And I still got some white showing through from my paper. So I'm gonna go in and you can see I'm moving my hand in the direction um, that the gradient is going. I'm not going across like this. That would not work for you. All right. It's a little messy, but um, you get the idea. I'll show you some other examples. So here's an example that I did with blue. And here's an example that oops, I did with yellow. Okay? So you choose either a primary or secondary color. Primary, of course, is red, yellow, and blue. Uh, secondaries are orange, violet, and green. 
Okay, so let's talk about the complementary colors. Okay, so if you don't know what a complementary color is, complementary colors are colors that are on the opposite sides of the color wheel. So the complementary to yellow is violet. The complementary to orange is blue. And the complementary to green is red. So complementary doesn't necessarily mean that they go well together, although those colors do go well together. What it means is being on opposite sides of the color wheel, they have the most contrast when those two colors are next to each other. So it's used in color schemes a lot where you want there to be a lot of contrast. So the first thing that you're gonna do here is you're going to, you're gonna fill out your colors um, in the past, I've had people do like the whole Venn diagram, the whole circle, but it's really not necessary and we're kind of low on um, materials. So I'm just doing this small section here. So you can see where the B is, I put blue, where the O is, I put orange. I'm gonna start with my lighter color when you're mixing. And this goes for not only when you're mixing with colored pencil, but also when you're mixing with paint. You always want to start with your light color and then mix the dark color in slowly because a little bit of the dark color goes a long way. So I've got a lighter coat of orange. Now I'm going to come in with my blue. I'm focusing on making it even. I'm using about 50% pressure. trying to get in those places where there's still a little white. And I'm trying not to make it streaky. I'm not really like crisscrossing directions either, although I could. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in some more orange. And what you're gonna end up with when you mix complementaries together is you end up with sort of like a muddy brown color, which <clears throat> can be good for making skin tones if you have, add white to it. All right, I'm gonna add in a little more blue. I'm not going to do all three of these examples. I'm, I'm only gonna do this one as an example. Um, so you'll mix that to the best that you can. I could do a little more on this, but it's the demo, so. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it. What you should end up with is something that looks like this, okay, where you've got uh, brown color in here, brown color in here, and brown color in here. You don't have to do the whole thing. Here's another example um, where this person went really dark with the colors. That's okay, too. Um, and that's it for this um, sheet. It should only take, you know, uh, maybe half a period to one period, okay? That's it. Thanks for watching.